Thank you so much to Phaedrus and MLAATR Fan 2004 for supporting me on Patreon. Your generosity and support really does go a very long way. If you like what I do and want to support me in a more personal way, then consider joining Patreon today. You will have special perks including having your name at the beginning of each video. You will get special updates in regards to the Triton Lego Railway in terms of personal updates, events and anything else related to the railway before anybody else. Access to LEGO digital designer files of the very locomotives, rolling stock and other structures I have made on my railway. And so much more. Link to the Patreon page is at the top of the description. Consider joining today. Hello and welcome to a product review. This is for the Blue Bricks Eurostar. This is a set I have had my eyes on for a very long time and I'm very excited to finally have this. This is a product not made by LEGO, but by a German company called Blue Bricks. I will leave a link to their website in the description for your interest. I have had my eye on this for months and I'm so excited for it to finally come out. It is LEGO compatible and the overall set is just stunning. The set comes with two end units and four coaches. Two pairs of coaches which are built up identically, but I will cover those later on. The end units are absolutely massive at nearly four straight track pieces long. The details are actually really clever and despite this being six studs wide, it's beautiful to look at. I only build steam locomotives, so looking at some of the design elements and the way that it's been put together, I'm actually very impressed by this. All the details at the front, how they've been able to connect bricks together in a way that I would never think to do so myself, I'm genuinely really impressed. One thing that excited me in particular about this set was the dark grey wheel covers, wheel pieces themselves, and buffer magnets. Now, on their website, I haven't seen them be sold individually, but this gives me hope in the future that I might be able to buy these in new colours for future projects. Since both ends are the same, let's move on. Now, there are four coaches in this set, and you build two up at a time with identical features. So this is the first coach that you go to build, and it is near enough the same as the other coaches and the end units. Now, it still looks very clean, very tidy. There are some details that I thought are quite interesting. There is a way of getting into the coaches by taking off a section of the roof only on the end units to get inside. There are seats inside the coaches and in the end units as well, but it's a bit of a shame that you can't take it off otherwise. But besides that, this is still very clean looking at six wide, it's still very beautiful. And of course the pantographs on the roof are quite simple, but I actually quite like how they've done it. So here is how they move upwards, move downwards, and tuck into that one step gap between the slope bricks. It's very nicely done, and it's basically simple. But again, beautifully done. Two of these coaches are identical, so let's move on to the last ones. Now, as I said earlier, these coaches are basically built up in the same way as everything else, but they do have a slight design difference in terms of the windows, but we'll get to that in just a moment. But the base is still very sturdy, all of the elements are still put together in nearly the same way. The wheels still look really good to me as a go-to feature, just because I know they're in a different colour. But all in all, it's very sturdy, and I love being able to pick up something this big and this long and just have it in my hand, it's so cool. Now with how they are put together, this is probably the only thing that would turn people off. Now you can see here there is a massive gap between each coach, and they do have quite the interesting overhang where they go around R40 corners, which is the standard LEGO curve tracks. And you saw how the ends kind of connect in a certain way, so you see me turning the coaches around now, and with these two coaches in particular, this way around they look so much better because the windows just flow from coach to coach much nicer. And that is it for this set review. Once again, this is the Eurostar set from the German company Blue Bricks. There will be a link in the description for your interest if you are thinking about getting one of these. I strongly encourage getting one if you have 155 euros to spare. It's a bit pricey, but for what you get, it's genuinely incredible. Also at the top of the description is a link to my Patreon. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.